And joining me with more counselor to the president, Kellyanne Conway. Good evening, Kellyanne. Good evening, Janine. Well, okay, so uh, we were just talking about how the standards seem to be changing depending upon who's on the other end of the investigation. And it seems like guilt and innocence, those are like words of the past, that there are new nuances. I am, I, am I wrong? No, you're absolutely correct, which is why words that were beyond the can of most Americans not familiar in their everyday lexicon, like collusion, were introduced so that people would somehow get confused right. and think that that was a really serious presidential crime. Uh, first of all, the investigation by Mr. Mueller had nothing to do with guilt or innocence. This was not a criminal prosecution. This was an investigation. And that investigation failed to prove, failed to conclude, that the president has committed a crime, anyone in this family, any of his senior advisors. And I will say, as the campaign manager for the, at the end of the winning part of the campaign, it is a relief, but it also has been a terrible disappointment and a true miscarriage of justice for people to be running around and pretending that any of us would have done that, would have willingly conspired with a foreign agent, in this case Russia, to try to publish damaging information on the woman who lost who shouldn't have, try to uh, cut corners, cheat, lie, or steal our way to a democrat democratically elected president. They have tried to have an asterisk next to his election, next to his campaign for the two and a half years since he won. And this really does close the door on all of that. I, I think also people are attacking Attorney General Barr mm -hmm. speciously and, and really viciously for another reason. It is the Attorney General, the Deputy Attorney General, other quote department lawyers, and the Office of Legal Counsel who all said they could not conclude that the President had in fact done anything to obstruct justice. That's key. Because, and that's why they're attacking him. If you don't like the message, you attack the messenger. This is a just result. It's just that those haters and critics don't like the result. And you know, the interesting thing is that, I mean, th there's obstruction, but there's no underlying crime. Assuming there's obstruction, and there is an obstruction. That's right. Because they don't have the no requisite criminality. intent. You're right. There's a, they don't have the requisite intent. And you know what? It's so amazing. With Hillary Clinton, she had the intent, and they said she didn't have the intent. I mean, everything is backwards. But you know, one of the things that the president said, which I found so, um, uh, uh, so important, is that no other president should ever have to go through this again. Because as I said in my open, no other man uh, uh, could have gone through, man, woman, whatever, president, could face the incoming like he did every day and then deliver for us and watch the people around him pretty much collapse in terms of, of their ability to respond to what was going on. What, what say you? How do we stop that? Correct. As I, as I was... No, it's, it's true. And look, the, the real rebuttal for Donald Trump will be his reelection. The Democrats and their friends in the media have wasted so much time thinking this was the way to get him out of office mm. and, and really diminish him to the American people. And it's had the opposite effect. The media's numbers, poll numbers are way down. You've got no, no lesser souls than Nancy Pelosi, Steny Hoyer, and some of the 2020 Democratic presidential field, Janine, saying, oh, no, we're not talking about impeachment. We're not having that conversation right now. They know that there is not a public appetite for more of this. But perhaps there is a public appetite for knowing how this all started in the first place, investigating mm -hmm. the investigators. Mm -hmm. Sure, I can find 22 months and $25 million or so if people are interested in knowing uh, why the fix was in from the beginning, why people were trying to undo Donald Trump's ele surprise election result beginning practically the day he was elected, why the Obama administration ignored the briefings they received about Russian interference into our elections about these attempts. They didn't think he'd win. They thought she would win. So nobody bothered to lift a finger. They never took it seriously. Seriously, but we are taking it seriously. And the, the other thing I would say to you is, uh, I see some comments in the Mueller report as I was reading it. I have never, I've been by Donald Trump's side under, uninterrupted for three years practically now. I have never heard him one time say, this is the end of my candidacy. This is the end of my presidency. Ooh. I've never heard him utter those words. And we've been in some pretty impossible, tough situations together. Uh, that is not the way he speaks. He has weathered some pretty impossible situations that would have broken another man or another woman, perhaps. And all the while giving us the best economy okay. that some of us have ever seen at this country Kellyanne. truly has ever known. He's done all that under this ridiculous, unfair cloud. Imagine what he'll be able to do now that it's over. Well, and you know what? Couldn't agree with you more. Kellyanne Conway, thanks so much for being with us. Thank you, Janine.